Welcome to the YouTube channel Math Everywhere. Today I want to talk about operations on functions. Whenever I say operations, that means addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and there are more operations but today i will focus on only four operations which are addition subtraction multiplication and division how to add or divide or multiply functions by each other let's start with addition if i have two functions and i want to add both functions i just need to add both equations that represent the functions if there are like terms, I just need to combine them. If there are fractions, I just need to add them. The formula for addition is f1 plus f2x equals f1x plus f2x. Let's just go for an example and things will be will look easier. If I have f1x is x cubed minus 4x squared plus x minus 1 and f2x equals negative x to the power 4, plus 6x squared minus 7x plus 90 if i ask you to find f1 plus f2x that means i want f1x plus f2x so i just need to add them that's very easy but you need to be organized by substituting f1x by its equation plus f2x substituted by its equation since there is addition between them so it doesn't matter if you put parentheses or not but it's more organized so here i have to combine the like terms like for example the first one has x power 3 the second one doesn't have so x power 3 will stay the same let's look for x power 4 the second one has x power 4 so positive times negative negative so negative x power 4 i put it first because i want to order the powers from the greatest to the least so i wrote negative x power 4 first then x power 3 second now let's go for the like terms that are related to x squared here i have negative 4 x power 2 and here i have plus 6 x power 2 so negative 4 plus 6 is 2 now the linear terms plus x which is plus 1 x here and i have negative 7 x so plus positive 1 minus 7 is negative 6 so negative 6x then now the constant negative 1 plus 90 is positive 89 so you need to simplify it this is the simplest form and i'm done with it example 2 which is more complicated what if i have fractions in both of them f1x equals x minus 1 minus 3 minus x over 6x it will be negative 3 plus x so just leave negative aside then f2x equals 6x squared plus 8x plus x minus 7 over x so now i need f1 plus f2x which is f1x plus f2x now i will substitute them f1x is x minus 1 minus 3 minus 6 over 6x plus f2x is the equation 6x power 2 plus 8x plus x minus 7 over x so now i need to combine the like term the first parentheses don't have x power 2 so 6x power 2 will stay as it is linear terms here i have x which is 1x plus 8x is 9x now the constants i have only negative one the other parentheses don't have now it's just something like it looks like new to you but i think you have taken that before negative 3 minus x over 6x plus x minus 7 over x here i have to change the, deno the denominator of x minus 7 over x. It should be 6x down to look like the first one. So I need to multiply by 6 up and down. So I just multiplied by 6 up and down. And why did I open parentheses here? Just to let you know that this number 6 is multiplied by all the numerator, which is x minus 7. So I have to open parentheses here. Now I repeated it as it is. The first fraction stayed as it is. Now the second fraction has a denominator of 6x. So now 6 times x is 6x. 6 times negative 7 is negative 42. Now I need to simplify it. The first part stayed as it is. Now both fractions will be in one fraction with the same denominator. Remember that this negative before the first fraction belongs to the numerator. So negative times 3, negative 3. Now plus minus which is minus 42, negative 3 minus 42 is negative 45, then negative times negative is positive, so positive x plus 6x is 7x, so 7x minus 45 over 6x, and that's the simplest form, that's all about 
addition. Now let's move to subtraction. It's the same thing as I did with addition, but just remember one thing here, the secret. You need to open parentheses for especially F2x because there will be a negative sign or minus before it. So this minus will change all the signs. For example, if I have F1x is x cubed minus 4x power 2 plus x minus 1, f2x is negative x power 4 plus 6x squared minus 7x plus 90. I want f1 minus f2x, which is f1x minus f. So here, this minus sign will change all terms inside the parentheses. Why? Because it's negative. It's like negative 1 times it. So the negative sign, if it comes before parentheses, it will change the signs of all the terms inside it. So for example here, negative x power 4 will be positive x power 4 positive x squared will be negative x squared negative 7x will be positive 7x and all the terms will be flipped so negative x power 4 became positive 6x squared became negative negative 7x became positive 90 became negative 90 so now i will combine like terms since there is nothing called x power 4 in the first parentheses i just write x power 4 as it is here in the beginning then x power 3 after it now the quadratic terms i have negative 4 x power 2 and negative 6 x power 2 so negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10 x power 2 positive 1 and plus 7 is 8 x negative 1 and minus 90 is negative 91 this is the simplest form another example which is more complicated that has fractions what if i have f1 x and f2 x like what you see here and i want f1 minus f2 x which is f1 x minus minus f2x the first step remember is substituting f1x with the equation up and f2x with the equation up and don't forget to write parentheses after the minus sign because this minus sign will change all the signs of the terms in the parentheses the second so 6x became x power 2 became negative 8x became negative plus fraction became minus fraction. What about the first parentheses? The terms inside will stay the same because nothing came before them. Just remove the parentheses. So 6x squared became negative, 8x became negative, plus fraction became negative. Now, I need to combine like terms, negative 6x power 2, I dropped it down as it is, x minus 8x is negative 7x and negative 1 the constant stays the same now my problem is with the fraction as what we have done before they have to have the same denominator so the first one has 6x down the second one has only x so i need to multiply it by 6 up and down again why did i open parentheses after the number 6 to let the teacher or the students know that this number 6 is multiplied by all of the numerator, so I need to multiply 6 by x and 6 by 7, not only by, by x. Remember, parentheses save you in mathematics. So now we have learned something new. Don't forget to open parentheses, especially after the minus sign. And here, if you want to multiply the whole numerator by 6, please open parentheses. So now I will drop negative 7x minus 1 minus 6x squared as they are and the first fraction as it is. And now I will multiply 6 by up and down the numerator and denominator in the second fraction. So it will be 6x minus 42. Remember here that the whole fraction, the second fraction, came after a negative sign. That means that this negative sign, which I call the virus, it will change all the signs of the numerator only. Don't care about the denominator. It just changes the signs of up. Now, the answer is negative 3 minus minus 42 which is plus 42 so positive 39 negative negative x so negative times negative is positive x minus 6x negative 5x so this is the answer and this is the simplest form we have learned something new that if a negative sign comes before a fraction it changes all the signs of the numerator so 6x here became negative 6x add negative 6x negative 5x 
and here I have negative 3 plus 42 is 39 again y plus because negative times negative is positive now let's move to multiplication it's the same thing just multiply each function by the other one for example if I have f1x equals negative 9x squared plus x minus 1 and f2x is negative 8x plus 3 and I want f1 times f2x you need to tell me that it's equal to f1x times f2x again what saves you parentheses so write them inside parentheses to avoid making mistakes and being confused negative 9x squared plus x minus 1 in one parenthesis and between parentheses and the second one is negative 8x plus 3 between parentheses now you must have learned before how to multiply polynomials by each other which is each term which is like for example negative 9x power 2 will be multiplied by all the second parentheses for example negative 9x squared will be multiplied by negative 8x and 3 this is called distributive property so negative times negative is positive 9 times 8 is 72 x squared times x power 1 i need to add the power so it will be x power 3 now negative 9 times 3 is negative 27 x power 2 comes down as it is now this is done now it's the turn of positive x which is positive 1x positive 1 times negative 8 is negative 8 x times x add the powers x power 1 times x power 1 is x power 2 now positive x times 3 3x so this is done now it's the term of negative 1 negative 1 times negative 8x is positive 8x negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 so we have learned something new here guys when i multiply the number negative 1 by anything in the world it will be the same but flip so here when i multiplied negative 1 times negative 8x it became positive 8x and when i multiplied negative 1 times 3 it became negative 3 now i need to simplify it because it's inappropriate to give the teacher this solution or this answer i need to simplify it by combining the like term 72 x cubed stayed as it is negative 27 x squared minus 8 x squared so i have to add the numbers negative 27 minus 8 is negative 35 x squared x squared stays the same 3 x plus 8 x is 11 x and the number negative 3 came down as it is now let me challenge you by giving you something really that you haven't even thought about example 2 f1 x is a squared root of x minus 5 over x minus 1 f2x is the square root of 3x power 2 minus 8x plus 1 there is something in math if you have the square root of 3 times the square root of 4 the answer will be the square root of 3 times 4 so since both of them have the square root so since both of them have the same square root you can multiply what's inside it and put all of them in one square root so f1x times f2x they will be written as root times root so squared root times a squared root since both of them are squared root so the answer can be only one squared root but i can multiply the terms inside each one by the others so for example x minus 5 over x minus 1 i put them between parentheses times 3x squared minus 8x plus 1 inside parentheses so now i have only one squared root because that's normal in math if you have squared root of 5 times squared root of 6 you can write it as squared root of 30. now my task is difficult i need to multiply the first parentheses by the terms like the terms inside the parentheses by the second so x times 3x power 2 is 3x power 3 x times negative 8x is negative 8x power 2 because i added the powers x times 1 is x negative 5 over x minus 1 i want to multiply it by 3x power 2. remember in math if i want to multiply a number by a fraction i have to multiply this number by the numerator only so if i have for example 3 times 4 over 5 i will multiply the number 3 by 4 only i wouldn't multiply it by 5 5 over x minus 1 times 3 i will multiply the number 3 by 5 since there's negative sign before 5 so the answer will be negative 15 x power 2 over x minus 1 
The denominator stayed the same. I just multiplied 3x power 2 by negative 5. I got negative 15x power 2. Now, the same thing I will do with negative 5 over x minus 1 times negative 8x. Negative times negative is positive. 8x times 5 is 40x, and the denominator stays the same. The number 1, if I multiply it by anything, it will stay the same. So negative 5 over x minus 1 times 1, it will stay the same. Now, division. The same thing if I have f1 over f2x can be written as f1x over f. So, for example, if I have f1x is x cubed minus 1, f2x is 6x power 2 minus 7x. If I ask you to calculate f1 over f2x, you can write it as f1x over f2x, which is x cubed minus 1 over 6x squared minus 7x. That's the simplest form. That's all. Example 2, f1x equals x cubed minus x, f2x equals negative 9x power 2 plus 12x. If I want f1 over f2x, you can write it as f1x over f2x. So x cubed minus x over 9x power 2 plus 12x. This one cannot be the simplest form y because if you notice, all of them have x, right? Here, up and down. Why don't I take out x as a common factor, the least? So I will just remove x outside the parentheses and divide by it. So this is common factor. So x cubed divided by x, it will be x power 2. Negative x divided by x, it will have only negative 1 because x is outside already. So now I will have the number which was before x which is 1. Down. If I remove x as a common factor, I will divide by it. So negative 9x power 2 divided by x, it will be negative 9x power 1. 12x divided by x is 12. Why did I do that? Because now I can eliminate x from up with x from down. So x with x will be eliminated. So the answer will be x power 2 minus 1 over negative 9x plus 12. It's your turn now. Solve the coming problems. Thank you so much for watching.